Acting up, showing out, showing out. Acting up, showing out, showing out. Acting up, showing out, showing out. I'ma show the world what I'm about. Yeah. Welcome to Acting Up and Showing Out. I'm Diane Parker, your host. I'm here today at the Doubletree Hotel in Somerset, New Jersey to give you a peek of the Perrys. That's the NJ Act Perry Awards 2015. Tell me about how the Perrys started. There is a, a man, his name is William Perry Morgan. Mm -hmm. um, Perry, his friends call him. Mm -hmm. About 42 years ago, mm -hmm. when he was about 11 years old, him and his sister were doing a show at their church. After the show, they got around. They, they loved performing at their church and things like that, children's productions. They sat around his dining room table, and he decided that he was going to give awards to people that were in the cast, his friends and everything. So he took a tube of lipstick, and he presented it to his sister, and he said, you get the award for Best Actress of the Year. <laughs> So a friend suggested to him, maybe you should make this a thing, like really do this. So at that time, the Woodbridge Hilton was just opening up and um, he rented a room. He invited 200 of his theater friends. He made some calls to local press and uh, he just kept his fingers crossed and hoped that people would show up. <laughs> and sure enough, they did. And the press came and that's when the Avi Awards were born. He called them Avi Awards because he lived in Avenal. And honestly, at that time, the awards were kind of tongue in cheek. They were given to his friends and you know people that he knew or people that he saw that he, he really enjoyed their, their performances. From there, it started to grow. Well, then Perry moved away mm -hmm. and he left the awards in uh, capable hands of a local theater person, Ken Paris, I think, who was the next uh, president and they started having them at the Hunterton Hills Playhouse. And it was beautiful, it was a dinner award and they started to legitimize the awards a little bit. They no longer just gave them to friends and family, it was um, on a nomination basis. Uh, they sent reviewers out to see shows and you know, and then they came up with a list of the top people and they made nominations. And as the years progressed, it just grew and grew. Lord. Well, it usually starts about six months to a year um, uh, before the event, the actual event. We, we start with the hotel, we, we reserve the date, and then from there um, we, we also do the, the next event, or the next big event, is the nomination ceremony. Mm -hmm. So once all the reviews have uh, have come in and all the all the scores have been tabulated then we throw the big old nomination ceremony and what happens there we reach out to the, lo the local community theaters and uh, we ask them you know would you mind hosting uh, the, the awards or the nomination ceremony um, and they're usually very you know they're like yes of course plus we give them you know like the back page of the uh, program, so it's a nice, mm -hmm. you know, gets your uh, theater exposed mm -hmm. to all the very important people in <laughs> New Jersey community theater. <laughs> and there's a lot. <laughs> I started this red carpet stuff about 10 years ago when I joined NJ Act. I said, you know, we should have a red carpet. But we really didn't have much of a budget, so there was really no place to put it. So I went to Target and I bought a red bath rug. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually carried this bath rug around, and when I would interview somebody, I'd just throw the rug down on the ground, like outside even, you know. And people were like dead serious. Like I was joking, it was a big joke, but everybody took it so seriously. Oh, I got this dress at, you know, they tell me all about what they were wearing. And I mean, I really felt like Joan Rivers, it was awesome. Well, last year, we bought a step and repeat Yes. Right? Yes. The big, you know, yes, backdrop know. The and everything backdrop with a real with red carpet. Yes. But I still bought my red rug. <laughs> and I will have my red rug with me next, I mean, tomorrow. I will have it, definitely. And we will make sure and to get some footage exactly. of that red rug. And I, and I actually interview people on the red carpet. Um, and they love it. They absolutely love it. The first nominee that I have the pleasure of introducing to you, she starred as Dorothy in The Wiz. 
at Main Street Theater Company, of course, in New Jersey, for those of you that are tuning in from across the world, right here in New Jersey. And she was nominated for Outstanding Youth Actress in a Musical. Yes. And she was phenomenal. I know because I was in every single show with her. <laughs> I played the evil witch, Eveline. <laughs> and I had a ball with Dorothy. <laughs> When you found out you were nominated, how did you feel? Well, I was very surprised because actually I didn't look online. One of my friends had to come up to me and tell me, and it was just on the street, and they were like, hey, you were nominated for a Perry. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, it was a big deal. And your friends and your family, all excited for you? Yes, very excited, very loving and supporting of everything. Is this your first time being nominated? Yes, yeah, this is my first time, so this is really cool that I'm here. Great, I know you're excited about it. And you have your, you want to introduce your sister? This is my sister, Michaela, and my mom, Nicole Vera White, who is the musical director of The Wiz. What are your plans going forward? Well, right now I'm rehearsing for Little Shop of Horrors. Oh! Um, it's going to be in Clifton in November, like the first two weeks of November, so... That's my next big thing. Yes. We have three superstars <laughs> right here at the Doubletree Hotel about to go downstairs and enjoy the reception yes. and the Perry Awards. And I plan to see you there. I wish you all the best. Thank you. It was an honor to work with both of you. Yes. Well, we want to say thank you to you, Diane, for giving yes. us this most wonderful opportunity. And we're just so excited about the progress of speaking out. Acting, Acting up, up and, and showing up. up. Showing up. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, we're going to act up and show okay. out <laughs> as we head down to the Perry Awards. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Everything's a great for small is here. Everyone who should be here is here. What a smashing, positively dashing, spectacle. who has been nominated for a Perry Award today for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a right. Play right. for To Kill a Mockingbird, yes. a classic movie <laughs> play. I've seen it a number of times and I saw your performance and I must admit it was outstanding. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your character. Um, Bob Yule was your classic Southern racist. Um, and uh, living with his daughter and a bunch of kids that uh, his wife was already dead so there's an inference that some of the kids were a result of an incestuous relationship with his daughter. Um, he was thought of as a total lowlife in the town yet the sad part about it is, is they took his word and his daughter's word over the word of an innocent man because he was black. Is there anything that stands out in particular when you reflect back on the play? Any special moment or scene, memorable line that really stands out for you? Uh, yeah, the most, well, the most difficult line for me mm -hmm. was when um, I was accusing Tom Robinson in the courtroom and just screamed out that that black nigger over there attacked mm -hmm. my daughter, mm -hmm. my mayor. And that was very, it's difficult for me to say now, it was difficult for me to perform. But, um, you know, we're, we're actors. <laughs> One of the things, I was, I was um, Stephen Lemonell directed the play, and uh, he just kept saying to me, he says, I don't know how such a nice guy could be such, <laughs> act like such a <laughs> nasty guy on stage. He says, he says, you're doing a good job, keep it up, you know, but that, that was tough. Well, I wish you all the best. Congratulations on Thank you your very first much, time Diana. being nominated for a Perry Award. You are deserving of it. I was in the audience, and you did give me chills. I, I feel like I should be interviewing you, nominated <laughs> for two Perry Awards. <laughs> I'm excited, yes. I'm excited. You know, but, but 
This is your moment to shine. What nominated for a Perry. I don't believe this is her first time. We'll have her to tell us a little bit more about that. But she's nominated for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Musical for the Musical Nine. Congratulations, Dawn. Thanks, Diane. What was your re initial reaction when you found out about the nomination? I was excited and kind of shocked. I never expect to be nominated. Um, I just like to do the role to do the role. And, um, but I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Now, and this, how many times have you been nominated? This is my second. This is your second my, time. Yeah, my first was two years ago for Company, mm -hmm. for Kathy, um, Outstanding Featured Actress in the Musical. Okay. So tell me more about your character, Luisa. Luisa is the wife of Guido Contini, and she is very classy, classic, hold together, cool, collected. Um, she's with Guido for 20 years and she's very much in love with him and he has a little problem with women. <laughs> yeah, so she basically, she stays with Guido over the years. She keeps everything pulled together for him. She's really his number one support system. Um, she gave up her dream of becoming an actress and just basically gave her whole life to him. And then uh, at the end, he basically makes a movie that publicly humiliates her <laughs> without intending to and that's when she has her breaking point and that's when she meets him. What preparation did you have to do to prepare for this role? I had to work on an Italian accent oh. um, which I loved. Uh, fortunately I have a colleague at my work that's from Italy so that made it really a lot easier because I could just observe her and um, obsess over her speech <laughs> and you were able to nail it to get it down. Yeah, I, I feel I feel that I did. And the show is nominated for best musical production as well, it right? It is. So exciting. congratulations! You get to perform again. with all my girls. Oh, we'll get to see and you the guys. perform. <laughs> yes. Wonderful! That's excellent. Congratulations Thank on your you. nomination. I wish you. you much success. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thanks so much, Diane. <laughs> okay. mistress, <laughs> the props diva, and as you will see as we talk, she brought some of her props with her. Sue, so, how does it feel, first of all, to be nominated again for two Perry nominations this year? I, this is the most fun. <laughs> I think the nomination part of the program is always fun. You know, we were nominated last year, yes. too. Yes. But I didn't really hold any hope because there were so many good people in my category. Mm -hmm. And then to get the second nomination and then the third nomination, it's just really, really awesome. And you, you brought props. I brought a few things tell to show about, you. Sh tell us about Well, let's start with this. These are the easy props. Okay. I do work with um, Cabaret for Life out of Asbury Park, New Jersey, which is a fundraising 
charitable organization. And um, my another director that I work with, Andrew DePrisco, yes. has a little show called The Housewives of Monmouth County that he, he puts on every year just for charity. And it's these crazy women and they do crazy housewife things. And this year, one of their husbands died, or did he? <laughs> and there's a closed <laughs> casket and he, I guess apparently is Mormon, so they were going to read the service out of the Book of Mormon. Uh huh. Get it? Get it. So I made this you for made Andrew. The Book yes. of Mormon. Right. So now we see the actual Book of Mormon. So, so those are the easy things. Right. What are some of the most difficult things well, that you have? Well, in terms of con um, mm -hmm. um, challenges, mm -hmm. I think you said. Um, mm -hmm. I'll have a uh, director. He'll just give me a list, and he'll say, "I need a chicken." And this was for Into the Woods. You know, they have a chicken. I went, okay, yes. so I scoured, you know, eBay and Amazon and, and all over looking for a chicken. And this is the one I found. This is a cool $40. Okay. So I just thought, okay, I'll make one. And this is the one I made. Yes. Congratulations fun. Fun for, for your fun. nomination last year. Congratulations for your nominations this year. And it was nice to meet you. <laughs> Lucky says, nice to meet you. Nice she to meet you. We'll be Lucky. in a show together. That's right. We'll be a, a, a ball. We'll have a blast. Yes, quack, quack. <laughs> chuck, chuck. Whatever. Cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck. <laughs> this is too much fun. I know. <laughs> I never want to be. I'll stay If you're interested in being on the show, send an email to actinupshowingout at gmail.com. In the meantime, keep acting up and showing out.